Hello and welcome back. Um, it's been about four weeks now since I fractured my, my arm. And as you can see from the uh, four x-rays, it has started to heal after four weeks. Um, so I'm very happy about that. And I also look forward to uh, getting back to work now and getting back to, uh, to uh, making more how-to vi videos. Um, and I'm also going to be releasing some more videos on my first channel, which you can, uh, which you can get here. And then also on my third channel, which is right here, I'm going to be releasing some new vi videos. Um, so I look forward to hearing fr from all you all, and uh, hopefully I will talk to you soon. Hi and welcome back. Um, in this project, what we're, we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting over this fiberglass door that was all originally uh, stained with the gel stain and then it was poly. Um, so it has a few coats of poly and there's the remnants of the gel stain. And this was done about five years ago. So you can see what the sun and the rain ha ha have done to this door here. Um, so what we're gonna so th so th this surface right here it it, it isn't smooth. Um, there's some rough edges here that we're gonna have to sand off, um, and then we're gonna paint on on top of it. Um, and the materials for the job is I'm gonna use this water-based bond bonding primer here. It's called Styx, um, and this is an interior and an exterior waterborne bond bonding primer which is great for a job like this um, it has a excellent adhesion and sealing of, of, of the surface and it's water based um, but before we can prime after we sand we're going to use this stuff here it's called will bond it's a liquid surface preparation um, so this is going to get rid of any dust or oil from your hands that are around here um, so that when it's time to prime, the primer will be able to stick to the surface, isn't it? and this is going to clean the surface too. Um, so I'm going to put this down here. Um, so I have a piece of sandpaper here, and this is 80 grit. Now you want to be careful when you sand down a fiberglass door, because fiberglass is a very lightweight material. It's almost like a plastic. So when you go to sand it, I'm just going to sand away any flaking stain or poly that is on here. I'm just going to give it a light sand. And I want to give it a light sand to put kind of like a tooth into the surface, just a small one. Uh, we, now we don't want to sand too heavy or use too harsh of a grit because then you'll put swirl marks in, into this. And you, you don't really want, want to do that. Uh, so you just want to use a... Uh, high grip just to take away any flaking paint so that the surface is smooth and you just put like a little bit of tooth into the already sur surface of it which has been stained in pot and poly. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to just give it a white sand here. Should wear a dust mask when I'm doing this too. Okay, and so I don't for, forget anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the outside first. So once the outside is done, now I'm going to come to the middle here. And 
then we're going to hit these. You want to kind of um, form your finger to wrap it so it conforms to the shape of the inside here of the style. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take off the, uh, hard, the hardware here. Um, that comes off light like that there. And by taking off the hardware, it's going to allow you easier a a access to this around here. So that when the door is done, when you go to put it back on, it'll look fresh and uh, you won't have to worry about getting any paint onto the metal. So this only takes a few seconds and I highly recommend you do this. since I'm trying to give a presentation, I want you to hear what I'm saying. So after you sand, just go around with like your fingers and try to feel for areas that you may have missed with the sandpaper here. Um, okay, so once that's done, I'm gonna put the sandpaper down. And I'm going to get my dust brush up and I'm going to dust away the surface here. Or you can use a vacuum too, but the brush is able to get into all the corners and stuff, so that's why I kind of like to use a brush. So now it's dusted off. Now one more step that I like to always do is to use a liquid surface preparation. And I uh, use this stuff here. It's called Will. It's called Will Bond. It stinks, 
but it does a great job in preparing the surface and cleaning it up here. So I'm going to use a rag here and I'm going to pour it into the corner of the rag here. And I'm just going to apply this to the surface here. And again, this is going to clean the surface. It's going to get rid of all the dust and, and uh, stuff that was caused from the sanding. It's going to clean the surface. It's going to get rid of any oils or grease from, 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 from your hands or any loose paint that is still on the surface. So this step right here is so important. And as you can see, the stuff that is coming off here onto the, the uh, wet rag here. Okay, so the uh, top half is done and you can see the rag there. So that's done. So that only took like a minute or so. And as you can see, the rag, it has dust and dirt and loose par 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 particles from the previous stain and poly. So it's a great idea to do this because now you're guaranteed a uh, yeah, tight bond of, 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 of the primer. And there's no dust on my fingertips here. So we're going to put this down here. And then... I have my sticks bonding primer in a here, and I have a drop cloth there. Um, so now what I'm going to do is apply the primer here. <laughs> 